would you describe your art and your practice to someone who's curious but uh, completely unfamiliar with it? Uh, my art is about time and it's uh, you can't really live in the present unless you're familiar with the past and um, in a way um, I have quite a historic bent and history interests me not just the immediate past time but uh, uh, generations beyond that and I think especially in the present which is so unstable uh, it's very essential for us to look at the past and understand how we got in this mess. I don't like violence, I don't, don't like uh, injustice, I don't like death and there was plenty of that in my childhood growing up in South Africa because we, when you were under a repressive re regime nobody is exempt from it, no one's untouched by it. So uh, I decided when I was a teenager that if you wanted to make a contribution to a better world in South Africa and you were white, the most positive thing you could do is get the hell out, which is what I did. And I think that was a very uh, good decision. However, sometimes the violence follows you and now as a Canadian uh, citizen, I, I think there's so much hypocrisy in Canada about, and I think Canadians have honed hypocrisy to a fine art. Some people get a, almost a sexual pleasure out of ugliness and violence. I don't. I, uh, I, 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 I don't think that beauty is a four letter word. And I'm drawn to places of contemplation, which doesn't mean that I think they should be the purview and privilege of the elite. I think that uh, all people are capable of responding to beauty. Can you tell us about the piece you have in the Ottawa Art Gallery exhibition? Uh, this particular image, uh, it's a cibachrome photograph which I photographed in Istanbul during a period in which I was doing a great deal of exploration of Ottoman architecture and Ottoman history. The first time I went to Turkey, I went in pursuit of uh, the love affair, the story of the relationship of Hadrian and Antonus, who was a Bithynian, who was an Ephebi, a beautiful young man with whom Hadrian fell passionately in love. I've always felt that love in all its forms was divine. And this is one of the great love stories of the world. And having a, a rather academic bent, I decided to follow this love story through uh, Turkey, through the sites of their journeys together. And whilst I was trying to do that, this, all this Ottoman stuff kept on getting in the way, it kept on getting in front of my camera, it kept on saying, have a look at me, you, you know, ignorant, stupid woman. I, you couldn't ignore it. And I, I, I realized to what extent um, my whole cultural education had been Eurocentric. What do you think it means to the Ottawa Art Gallery to have this new space, this purpose-built space and building in terms of its reputation and its capacity? I think it's a, a, a watershed moment and uh, so many people have contributed to this being uh, possible, to bringing this to fulfillment. I mean, my generation were all in the trenches in the 70s and 80s. We made a, an absolute nuisance of ourselves at City Hall. We made it very, very clear that for us, culture wasn't an add-on. It wasn't uh, an indulgence and it wasn't a luxury. And we were very obnoxious. And I think one reason we got Jim Watson to support us is he just decided we were such a nuisance that he'd better just join up with us and fight us because we were going to make life totally miserable. And then I think he, he became passionate about culture and realized how much it would add 
to the, uh, to the city.